Welcome to Tips and Tricks. Today we're going to go over formatting a hard drive for the Macintosh. So we're going to erase a drive and format it. So in this case, we're going to do an external hard drive. So this could be a Firewire hard drive or a Thunderbolt hard drive or um, any inexpensive USB hard drive that you can get at an electronics store like Best Buy or a place like that. So the first thing we need to do is to plug the hard drive into the Mac and it should appear on the desktop after a couple of seconds. Okay, our drive has appeared on our desktop here and if it doesn't appear, uh, we have another video online, I'll, I'll try to link it uh, in the description below here or on the screen uh, where it shows you how to force it to mount on your desktop. But the drive is here and we want to erase it or format it. So the first thing to do is find the Disk Utilities application. So one way to find it is to go here under File in Finder and choose New Finder window. It just opens up a generic window and we go to the Applications folder. And if we scroll to the bottom of the Applications folder, there's another folder called Utilities. Open that up. And inside there, there's the application Disk Utility. So double click that to open up Disk Utility. And it will scan your system and find any hard drives connected. So Macintosh HD, that's the internal drive. Make sure you don't do anything with that. You don't want to erase that or mess that up because uh, it will destroy your system. In this case, we have our external USB drive that we've plugged in and we want to erase it or format it. So in the Disk Utility application, we have a button here called Erase. Just click once on that and an option will pop up with the different erase and formatting functions. So here, if you look at the type of format that's available, we can pop that up and there's a number of different ones here. So I'll take a minute to explain these so you can decide which one is best for you. It'll, chances are it'll default here to macOS Extended Journaled. Uh, this is a format also called HFS Plus. That's Hierarchical File System Plus. It's um, a decent way to format uh, drives, especially external drives. Uh, it will only work on a Macintosh though, so if you want to share it with a uh, Windows computer, uh, we'll look at another two formats that you can use for that later. Uh, so this is a good one to have. Um, it's an older format from the 80s, uh, but it still works just fine. And we have a couple of, uh, or a few different ways uh, to do that. Uh, we can have it journaled and encrypted. So encrypted will prompt you for a password, so the drive won't be able to be mounted on the desktop unless you supply the password. And it encrypts all the contents, so if somebody swipes the drive and opens it up, uh, they still can't get at the data. So if you have something really uh, critical in there, sensitive information, it's a good way to handle it. One uh, Another option is Mac OS Extended case sensitive in journaled. So case sensitive means that two files with the same name but a different case will be treated differently. So for example, you have a file called ABC but it's all lowercase letters and another file, all uppercase letters ABC, will be seen by the system as two separate files, not as the same file. Another option uh, adds all the functions here. Uh, it's HFS Plus, Mac OS Extended, Case Sensitive, Journaled, and Encrypted. But Journaled is a good catch-all. It's fine, really, to, uh, to format your drives in this way. Another option uh, that's just come into use is the Apple File System, APFS. It's a new file system, a new way of formatting that Apple's introduced in the last couple of years. And if you have macOS High Sierra or above, it will use this system, especially for the internal drive, Macintosh HD, uh, to load the system. And again, it's fine to use that system. However, it's only really going to uh, work on Macs that have operating system of High Sierra and sometimes Sierra and above. So if you want to be able to unplug this drive and share it with other computers, uh, friends or coworkers or other computers that you have, and they're not all on High Sierra, then don't use this format. But if you have everything that's High Sierra and above, no problem. Or if you're only going to use it with your computer, again, no problem. It's a good format to have. 
It has similar options, encrypted, so that's password protected, case sensitive, remember lowercase abc becomes a different file than uppercase abc, or case sensitive and encrypted. Now if you want to share your files with Windows computers, you have two options here. The MS-DOS format, FAT, uh, that's good, uh, especially for things like USB keys and stuff that are smaller. Um, this only really works with um, storage devices, whether it's hard drive or USB key, that are 32 gigabytes or less. Uh, but it's a nice universal format. It'll work on lots of different uh, computers. So if you really want to have a universal way of sharing stuff, that's a good way to do it. Now, if you want to share data with Windows computers, um, to be able to unplug your drive or your USB key and plug it into a Windows computer and have it work, and it's larger than 32 gigabytes, then choose this format here, EXFAT. So in this case though, it's just a generic drive that we're gonna uh, use across a few Macs. Uh, so we want a pretty simple format, so we're gonna use the Mac OS Extended Journal. So those are all the formats explained. The next thing to do is to choose the name for your drive. So in this case, I think we're going to use it as a backup drive, maybe for Time Machine. So I'm just going to change the name here to Backup. So whatever name you name it here will become the name of the drive. And once we pick our name, now we can decide when we erase the drive, do we want it to be just a normal format or do we want to have it to be a secure erasure or secure formatting. So if you really want to wipe out the data underneath, you can pop up this button here, security options, and then choose from the slider here how you want it to be erased. So basically, the more secure it is, the less likely people who get a hold of that drive later will be able to access any of the data on it. However, what it's going to do is write zeros over the whole drive, so really just a bunch of junk data over the whole drive a number of times. So in the case of it's most secure, it's going to do that seven times. So it's basically got, got to fill up the drive seven times. It's going to take a long time to do that. You can bring it down slightly less secure. There's three times. So in this case, this is, you know, um, basically a format that's sort of U.S. government approved for being very secure, so it's a good way to do it. Um, again, it's going to take a long time though. The bigger your drive, the longer this is going to take. Slightly less one where it's going to write over twice. And then fastest, it's not going to write anything over, over the drive. So in this case, for the sake of demonstration, we're not going to choose the security options. So remember, if you do choose them, it's great. It makes the formatting or the erasing of your drive very secure. Nobody can get at the data, but it's going to take a long time. So you're going to need some patience. I would do it uh, and let it run overnight. So when you get up in the morning, that it should be uh, it should be finished. All right. So we picked our name, picked our format, picked our security options. Now we can hit erase, and we will get an erase window. If you pop this open here, you can see a little bit more information about what's going on with the erasing. Sometimes you might get an error where it can't unmount the drive. And we've got a video online talking about uh, how to get around that and force it to unmount the drive so you can erase it. I'll try to link that down here too. And when it is complete, you'll get some more information in here and you'll get a button that says done. Click done. And you can quit disk utility. Close this window here, and we can look at our drive. We see our drive is fully empty, ready to use for whatever we like. Oh, in fact, Time Machine might come up and ask if you want to use this drive uh, as a backup drive. So in this case, I've already had a drive connected to this machine called Backup for, uh, for Time Machine. Um, so yeah, maybe we'll, we'll use it as our Time Machine backup. And in this case, it will start preparing our backup. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. And if you did, uh, please click the like button down. And uh, if you have any suggestions on other things we could cover, uh, put them in the comments below. 
try to subscribe to our channel. We put uh, new videos on regularly with uh, tips and tricks on how to get the most out of your Mac or your iOS devices. And please share the video with your friends if you find it useful. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.